all right you guys welcome back to my channel this is shay and i'm coming to you with another video so today y'all already know that i share with you everything that the lord gives me and if the lord don't give me something then guess what i'm not getting on here because that's how the church got in trouble to begin with people getting up saying stuff that the lord is not saying and that will never be me y'all listen y'all blood will never be on my hands never first thing the lord had me in jeremiah jeremiah was a prophet of god he didn't come with a popular message the lord would send jeremiah when he was bringing destruction we sit up under a god that sends destruction and we don't want to talk about that why is that that's what's happening right now with this coronavirus I've been preaching and putting out video after video on this coronavirus, and I'm trying to get the attention of the people of God. And for some reason, we just don't get it. So the Lord will send Jeremiah, the prophet of God, to send warning to the people about destruction that he was about to send. Listen to this. It says, I will bring disaster upon them. My fierce anger, says the Lord, and I will send the sword after them until I have consumed them. Somebody please tell me that you, you're looking around and seeing that this is what the Lord is doing. The Lord has sent the coronavirus and I keep saying it and I say it up under everybody's um, um, videos who have thousands and thousands of followers and thousands and thousands of subscribers. Because guess what? They are speaking things out of their mouths that the Holy Spirit is not giving them to say. They're just making up anything at this point. Oh, God. God is in control. Of course he's in control. Duh. God is going to heal this land. No, he's not. Not until people repent. Like, tell the people the truth. Stop playing with people. Stop playing with the sheep of God. Stop playing with the word of God. Like, it's time to stop playing with God. Period. And y'all don't understand that God is the one that sent this. God allowed this. And I'm going to show you how. The Bible says that... The Lord, his hand will come against the nations that won't forget him. And two, when there's just way too much sin going on. And that's the times we're living in. That's the times we're living in. God says, when there's corruption in my leaders, I show up and put my hand against the nations. And this is, the, listen, Jeremiah, this whole book is basically Jeremiah. Listen, and God's going to come after you. He's going to come after you. And this is why his hand is here. And this is going to happen. And this is going to happen. Okay, he didn't have a popular message. Jeremiah got, he was a weeping prophet. He spent his time crying out and crying. The weeping prophet. So I just told you guys that, listen, when there's corrupt leaders, God shows up. When he feels like his sheep are being abused, God shows up. Because it's, it's nothing like a, she a bad shepherd. Just letting, letting that sheep go over there. Letting that one fall down the ditch. Let that one get hit by a car. And God said, what? Oh, no. I am the chief shepherd. And this shepherd is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's not doing my will. Mm. Jeremiah 50 and 6 says, my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have led them astray. They have turned away from me. They have forgotten their resting place. All who have found them, devoured them. That's the enemy. Let me tell you something. Because when a sheep go off, guess what's going to find them? Fornication. When that sheep fall off the cliff, guess what's going to catch them? Adultery. When that sheep goes that way, guess what's going to catch them? Homosexuality. Y'all better stop playing with my guy and stop playing with his sheep. They get so consumed in sin. And now, guess what? Now you're held accountable, Shepherd. Yeah. The one that goes by the title. The one that's on stage every week. Yeah, you. And when the Lord's hand is against the nation, he will not relent. He will not turn his plow. Okay? Because he does not play about his... Listen, he does not play about his word. And make no mistake, our God is so wise. The Bible says that he even created the times of wicked for himself so he's very aware of what's going on he's very aware of the corruption in his churches he's very aware of how ignorant and blind his people are and he said and that's why sometimes it takes for a coronavirus to come in and sweep the nation and, and and have my people come to their senses we are living in the days of the lord's punishment 
I've, I said it before and I'm going to keep saying the fierce anger of the Lord is upon us. That's what we're feeling right now. Everybody's in fear, all of that. Yeah. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he will allow it and he will send it. If you read your Bibles, you'll see that God sent fear up against his enemies. Anytime the nation of Israel went to war and, and, and that leader was a man of prayer, guess what? He would send his fear against his enemies. We are an enemy to God now. The nations that forget God shall be turned into hell. We're now enemies. It's too much going on. Listen, we're so much like Sodom and Gomorrah, we don't even understand it. And we saw how that ended. That ended up in fire. Fire. And not too long ago, there was a forest fire in California. People had to evacuate their homes, this, that. Randomly. Randomly. We better open up our eyes and see what is going on. What say And see what, what thus saith the Lord. And let me tell you a few of the reasons why the Lord is upset and why his hand is against our nations. I told you that the leaders... They've been so content with not seeing any healing, not seeing any any fruit of the spirit, not, not seeing the Acts church. We've been so content and thinking it's about us, thinking it's about our gifts, thinking it's about us being on stage. It's not about us. We've polluted the holiness of God. We've completely taken him out. We want to walk in with our robes and our extravagant dresses and gowns and again, what? The Lord is like, listen, ain't no stars here except for me. Because of the wrath of the Lord, our nations lay desolate. Ain't nothing going on right now. Everybody's shut in. Everybody's shut in their houses. I have an unpopular message flowing from the inside of my belly. Living water, though. But it's an unpopular message, and I'm okay with that. Y'all want to know why? Because my Bible says that you will be hated by all men for my name's sake. And guess what? If y'all hate me... For the sake of Jesus Christ, I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Listen, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm right where I'm supposed to be. It's your leaders. It's the people you idolize that y'all have put on platforms and things like that. That you should be like, um, if all of these people love this person, then something is wrong. Yes, something is wrong. Because the Bible says that you will be hated by all men for my name's sake. And if you don't know Jesus then people going to love you. If you're not preaching the truth, Jesus was the truth. He got crucified for being the truth. And guess what? If you call yourself a disciple, you call yourself this, you have a title. God's like, let me tell you something. I'm cashing checks. You say you're an apostle. Let me see your fruit. The Lord is preparing the church for his coming back. It's not even about the government, okay? This is about the Lord putting his bride back in check check y'all need to go and watch the rest of my videos like i really get really really deep into what the lord is doing the real lord the real holy spirit jesus christ our king our savior listen him the real man the man upstairs the one who guides the one who teaches him god is humbling arrogant and proud people in this season he said uh you will be humble you will be sat down if you're a manipulative spirit the hand of the Lord is against you. If you are causing God's people to pay you for gifts and, and things like that and, and conferences and things like that, the hand of the Lord is against you because that is not so. The hand of the Lord is against the religious spirit. Religious spirits don't like the truth. Okay, they like to do what they like to do. And it's a hard spirit to break. But the hand of the Lord is against you. The Bible says that the hand of the Lord will be against your treasures. Listen, people's bank accounts, churches' bank accounts are about to get hit. It says, and they will be robbed. Coronavirus is coming in like a robber, okay? I need for us to understand that all sin separates us from God. All sin. I don't care what it is. If it's different than, than somebody else's, so what? It all separates us. And God is calling all of us into repentance, so in the name of Jesus, I hope that this opens your eyes and open your ears. And you guys know, just like always, I will be back with another video.